Hi, it's Bobby with Office Tracker. Today we're going to go over scheduling meetings with Office Tracker. Whether you schedule small meetings for just a few people or large conference rooms with many people and resources, Office Tracker can make it easier for everyone involved. Let's look at how to schedule a group meeting when using the web client. Click on the open time slot, add the description of the event, You want to add the names of the people that need to be included in the event. And say OK. Next, let's add a label to this event, labeling it as a meeting. We can add an agenda. Next, I'm going to set a reminder for this event for all attendees. I'm going to include all of my people. I don't need to include the room. Turn the reminder on, and I want it to be sent out one hour and 30 minutes prior to the event, and say OK. Once you have set all of the items on the event, say OK. You will notice that I have an event notification pop up. This can be set individually for each user as far as if you want these to automatically come up when you add an event, change an event, or delete an event or not. Currently, I have them set to automatically create a notification when I do any of those things to an event. At this point, you can choose to cancel the notification or click send. Each user has the ability to set how they would like to receive their notifications. They can be sent via email, via text message, or an internal reminder which will pop up on the screen. Let's look at where to set the notifications up. When using the web client, click right here on the calendar icon, view and default options, and then under defaults, notifications and reminders, you have the option to check the box for create notifications for group events and say OK. When using the web client, if you want to alter the way that your notifications are received, click on the settings icon. And from here, you can change how you would like to receive your reminders and your notifications. When using the desktop client and you want to set up your notifications, go to edit, preferences, event settings. And from right here, once again, you can check the box to auto create notifications when I change or delete group events. When using the desktop client, if you want to alter the way that your notifications are received, that will actually need to be done from the Office Tracker server admin page. Once you log in, click on names list, show names list, click on the name of the person that you want to alter. And right here in the center of the screen, you will see reminders and notifications, and once again, the different options that they have as far as how they would like to receive their reminders and notifications. The last thing I want to mention today are the small icons that appear on your schedule. On this event we just created, you will notice there are three different icons. This is the names icon. There are five names associated with this event. If you click on that, it will bring up the names list. You could quickly add people to your event from here or remove them. Click on the name you would like to add to the event and say include. Click OK. You will notice that the notification comes back up. You now have the option to send a notification to all of the attendees of the meeting or you can say don't send. You will need to go back into the reminder. And you'll notice that Bobby that I had just added to that event does not have a reminder schedule. The names in red currently have a reminder scheduled for them for this event. So if I wanted to send a reminder to Bobby as well, click on Bobby and include and OK. Next up is the agenda. It looks like a piece of paper. If you click on it, it will bring up the agenda for this event. And once again, you could make changes directly from there. That about covers it for today. Happy scheduling! Make sure to follow us on Facebook for more handy tips and tricks.